Hey guys, it's Kai again, and today I'm going to bring you, bring you guys lesson 6 of our Pygame tutorials. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to take all our concepts and we're going to put them together to create an awesome game. So, here's what I'm gonna, the files I'm using today. It's your standard um, main.py right here. But we're also, the main thing you want to focus on is the, uh, the this thing right here, the kimap.png and the girl that PNG. These are two um, files that we're going to be using very heavily today. You got this out? Okay, so first thing I want to do is create a, a static map back background. And to do that, I need to load it into Pygame. So we'll call it map, and you load it using pygame.image.load, and then the name of the file, which is kimap.png. Then you also need to create a uh, rectangle for the map. So map rect equals pygame.rect and the following coordinates are the top left corner so you need to set the 0 and 0 the width is 480 which is the width of the screen and the height is 320 which is the height of the screen okay so now I have the image and the rectangle all that's left to do now is um, split it So you have to put it right here, screen dot blit, and it's um, it's the source, and then the rectangle. So now you can see we not only have our two rectangles, but we have a static map background, like so. So now I want to change our rectangle, which was previously a red square, to a girl. So once again, I need to load the image. So we'll call the image girl. And pygame dot image dot load. And we'll call it. Oh, it is called girl png. Let's go back down. So, so there's a uh, layers in this um, program. So whichever thing you put first will be the first layer, and then whatever you put second will be the second layer, and it'll appear on top of the first layer. So if I was to put this statement below this statement, then you would not no longer be able to see the girl. I think it got rid of the wrong thing. So let's see what we have now. So, so far, we have a girl. We've got a static background. And we've got our two controls. So now what, what we want to do is we want to... Um, make her move in all four directions so first thing I want to do is to find more colors for the two new rectangles that we're going to create so let's use pink and yellow uh, forty-one, the three numbers are just the red green blue so depending on the numbers you put in um, if the different amounts of um, yellow, green, yellow, red, green, blue, it'll um, determine the color. You have 230, 255, and 0. You also need to cre create the rectangles that we're going to put the colors on. So I'll call it right rect, high game dot rect. And we'll set it to like 360, which is the left the left edge. 140 is the top edge, and of course with 50 by 50. The left rect, same command, and it's time. We'll set the left edge to 235, same height 140, and 50 and 50. Scroll down, 
and we'll blit the rectangle show here. So pygame.draw.rect, blit it to the screen, state the color, and write the name of the rectangle. And it will draw the other rectangle too. Run it, see what we have. So now you can see we have four different rectangles indicating the directions, but so far the ones that are on the right or left don't do anything right now. It's just the these two right here. Yeah. Before we move the girl, we have to set up the directions first. So um, that means checking for the like the bounce. So right here we can go if player rect dot right is greater than the size of the screen so we can go size zero which is the first element of our um, screen and if that's the case we set the direction to left and we need to check for the other side left is less than zero which is zero on the x axis x axis direction equals right okay and then we go if direction equals right Player rect dot center x center x not center y is plus or equal to five. So what this what this will do is if the um, direction is right, it'll move the center x coordinate of the player five pixels to the right. So if direction equals left player rect dot center x minus equals five. Okay. So now we have bounce checking as well as um, the movement of the player. So we now need to set up the collide point. It's so much of what we did for the um, the two rectangles that move the square down and up. So you just check if the mouse position collides with the uh, rectangles that we set up. If that's the case, you set the direction to right or left or down or up. So direction equals left. So let's try doing it. I spelled collide point wrong again. Okay. Here we go. So now you can see the girl moves in all four directions. And she is bounce checking. So she'll bounce she'll bounce the other way and we'll go off the screen. And you can see that the controls are in the middle of the screen right now. So when you do it, you can put it in like the bottom right corner or the top right. And yeah. Okay, so we'll load it onto the phone and we'll see what it looks like. Hey guys. Okay, so this is our game on the smartphone. So this is a simple game. Right now you can see we have um, the girl, and she moves in all four directions against a static background. It's pretty cool.